Hello. Today I'm going to show you uh, different little things about different types of injured uh, pacopodiums. I have two right here. I got them from a friend. Uh, they kind of just fell over and you know sometimes when they fall over sometimes you don't realize they've gone down. It happens. I've had that happen to a few of mine but I didn't have don't have them available to show them to you. But it's going to show how incredibly strong and resilient these uh, plants are. So these are two Pacopodium. I believe they are going to be uh, Rudenbergum, and I am sure I am mispronouncing that. So right here, I'm going to bring it a little closer. You can tell This guy had a little bit of damage. I just want to make sure you guys can see it. You can tell it kind of had a little rot, kind of just fell, probably was damaged by an animal. It happens. But I always like taking a chance on seeing what type of condition I can get these guys in and get them back from. I really think this guy would be okay to get back into shape. So. This is the root system here. Um, I've had it sitting out for a little bit uh, just because I've been a little busy. Let's get that to focus, there we go. And since then, it's starting to shoot out some new roots there. And then right here, you can see quite a few. So that's a very promising sign that this guy is gonna do well. So this one here, I'm actually not going to chop. I'm just going to put it in a pot. We're going to just trim the roots a little bit and see how it goes. You can tell it's still pushing out new growth, which is always a good sign for these guys. So that's that. I don't recommend handling these guys with your bare hands unless you kind of know how to do it a little better because sometimes, you know, you can really injure yourself. So this is the second guy right here of the same species. And again, I'm just going to make sure I can... I'm getting a good view of all of this for you. So now this guy, he had a little bit of rot right here and the roots completely rotted out. And you can kinda, if the camera would focus, there you go. See it, the roots are completely gone. It's a little soft here, but not like bad soft, kinda like crinkled up soft, if that makes sense. And you can also tell right here, he's got a little bit of sunburn so he was probably laying on his side and this side up and the sun hit him and rain probably got to it. And it just, it just uh, bruised it a little bit. But I'm gonna see if chopping this guy can save it. I think it will. Cause if you look at the top here, he's still pushing out a little bit of growth. Not nearly as much as the other one, but still, you know, never know. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So we're gonna give that a shot. This one's gonna be chopped, and that one's just gonna be put as, as is. So let's get to it. All right, so we have this guy here. This is the sunburned one that I'm just gonna chop, and I'm gonna let it callus over, and I'm gonna put it in a pot. So I'm gonna do this guy first because he should be a fairly quick one, while the other one might be a little bit more tedious. So for this, you're gonna need, obviously, gloves, welding gloves. You're gonna need a knife. You're gonna need alcohol. Um, you're gonna to wanna to sterilize your knife like you would with anything else. Perfectly not land it on the plant. So I'm gonna let that clear up and I should have cleaned this table off before I started. So I'm just gonna... No, this is not the ideal thing to do, but in a pinch, that's what I'm doing. But at least it'll hopefully get some, kill some of the germs. All right. So for this, I'm gonna put one of my welding gloves down. this down and 
All right, so you're gonna sit and feel where this damage is and where it goes. So it's not really bad up into here, but you wanna roll it over. You wanna see where the damage could be going up to. So it's really soft here. So I'm gonna go right about here. So about now it should be all dried up. Um, all the alcohol should be dried up on the knife. So I'm gonna cut right here. Well, with it not being super easy to chop, that's encouraging. It means that there may not be as much rot in the system. So you have that. That's not terribly bad. It's a little soft in the center. All right, now that the helicopter has landed and it's all settled, we're gonna finish this up. So, got a little dark, so my flash is on, so if it looks a little weird, that's what happened. So, it's got a lot of sap right here, which is good. Um, so I'm just gonna go a little bit further up just to see if there's no, just make sure there's no surprises further up this trunk. And that's looking a little better. So we're gonna leave that guy at that. We're gonna move on to the other one. So this guy's just gonna set aside. We're gonna let it sit outside, sit it out in air like this for a few days and then we're gonna sit it in a bucket of paralyte and let it get some roots on it so here is the second guy this is the one that I said has some good roots on it or starting to have some good roots on it so instead of chopping this one I'm going to trim down the roots that are there yet the dead roots that are there probably trim down some of this dead uh, dead foliage on it and we're gonna get going on it so like you do would do with the knife you would take the scissors and you would dump a little bit of alcohol on them just to kind of sterilize them because you don't know what they've been in contact with and let them dry for a few seconds so um, Going back to the first guy, uh, before I put them into a new pot, I'm gonna pull every single leaf off of it. It just uh, prevents the plant from wasting energy onto a leaf and it kind of helps promote new growth. And in another video, I'll show you what one of them looks like that's starting to take root of this species because I do have one that seems to be starting to root a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to cut this down a little bit. You just want to remove anything that would look that's pretty loose, loose and it looks like it should just probably come off. Um, while you're doing this, you're going to want to inspect the stalk. You're going to look for anything that's that looks pretty bad, like any type of rotting or any type of extensive damage that is just going to kill the plant ultimately. So damage, it looks it looks scary or looks, looks bad, but I don't, I really don't think it's going to be too bad. Like I said, the roots are growing on here. So I think it's just, um, I think it's pulling through. It just, it's just going to take it a little extra time. So now I'm going to take a look at these roots here. So you can see this is pretty loose. There's no good roots coming out of it. So I'm going to chop it or cut it, I should say making sure I'm careful not to chop the new roots that are actually good. This is not showing any signs of really use. So we're gonna chop that, but gotta be careful because there is a new root right there. So and there's a new root here, so we're gonna leave that. And then I'm gonna turn it over and just look any new roots here. It's kind of hard for you to see over here, but it got scraped a little bit here and it's nice and green right there. 
so that's very encouraging. So what I'm going to do before I uh, put it into some ground in some dirt and whatnot is I'm going to put some uh, put some cinnamon powder on the roots just to kind of help prevent any fungus when I put it into the dirt. So let me go grab that. All right, took me a little longer than I would have liked to get that cinnamon powder, but I got it. So the reason I use cinnamon powder in case you don't know, in case you're new to this and you just don't know, is it's a nice antifungal and it kind of will help protect this a little bit in case there is a little raw tissue left when I cut any of that dead stuff out. So I'm going to spray it, just put it on here. Right, guys yesterday I kind of had to end my video a little early just because it was getting a little dark and I couldn't show you the whole thing that I had done with the plant so this is the Madagascar that had a really bad root system and everything and had this big chunk out of here so I couldn't really show the video on couldn't give you a clear video on what I did so I just figured I'd add it on to the end but what I did is I put a whole bunch of braces here this is to kind of keep it standing straight over. Since this guy has a little bit of a curve, there is a stake there just to hold him up. Now, if I turn him, you see it will stand on its own with those uh, supports. But when I set it somewhere, it's gonna be leaned against something just to give it a little extra support. Now you'll notice that I did not take any leaves off of it since it does have some sort of root system going on. I'm not going to take any leaves off of it because it should should be just fine. So I'm going to keep a watch on this and if you want to see the progress of this plant, uh, join uh, Madagascar Madness and I'll probably put a few posts of it on the general page. But uh, in the group I'll definitely post a lot more updates about it. So I hope you found this video to be of interest to you and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.